The great thing about the subject specifically is that students don't require any uh, programming or coding experience or skills. Um, the software actually implements a low-code, no-code principle, so uh, allowing everyone with, again, no coding experience to take full advantage of the different opportunities offered by the, by the software. I'm in my 50s now and I've had a significant career in the military and I thought that was all I was going to do. So for me, this is really good where Avenard has looked at my soft skills that I have from previous experience. They've seen my potential and they've given me the opportunity to embark in a new career that I never thought I'd ever be in. No, I've, I've never had any experience other than turning a printer on in the office. So this is a great opportunity really for me to learn new skills and utilize those into the future. Um, I spent many roles in army over 25 years, none of them IT related. So um, this is really good for me. This is a great learning experience. Dynamics 365 is basically a Microsoft pre-built platform um, with different company uses to build business solutions for them. When I joined Avanade, um, I thought like we, all the people come from different technical backgrounds only. When I joined Avanade, I saw a guy from defense. I saw someone from um, student academy background. I saw a salesperson being consultants. I saw data analysts being consultants. So it's a, it's a combination of a lot of different occupation. It doesn't have to be a technical background that you have to belong to. Um, however, you know, it would be great uh, because everyone has their own strengths, right? Some has great soft skills, some has great, great technical skills, um, and it doesn't have to be one or the other, right? If you have that uh, willingness to become a consultant, then you can definitely go out and learn. And technical skills can always be learned. So that's not a problem. Functional consultants don't necessarily have to come from IT backgrounds. We quite often uh, hire people that come from very, very, very different industries. We have hired teachers, we've hired accountants, uh, we have hired field sales officers, We've hired a range of people. We hire many non-IT uh, professionals. We look for people who have work experience, who can basically apply their industry knowledge in to designing solutions for customers. At UTS, I studied business and IT, so I majored in marketing and business information systems management. As I mentioned before, the business um, aspect allows me to have a different insight from a lot of uh, my other peers who are more technical. So I'm able to see in a more selling and uh, financial uh, aspect that how an idea or can help a client become profitable or um, just kind of create, be able to think something that's more marketable. So functional consultants come from wide and varied backgrounds. You know, you can imagine a finance consultant might come from a finance background but they don't necessarily have to. They could come from a commerce or a uh, business type background. They don't need to come from computer science. I think everyone in the old days used to think that was a given that you had to come from com computer science. We also have people coming from industry. So they'll come from industry and they've worked in a certain you know, place for a while, then they'll transfer across and learn the application. And when they learn the application, they can often be some of our best uh, functional consultants. We also have people who are coming from other, uh, they've been out of the industry for a while, out of all industries I should say. Um, they've been out of work and um, say being on maternity leave or they've been in the military, then they come back and you know they can be functional consultants. But it's really, it's all about attitude. You know, it's not so much about what you've done in the past, it's about what you want to do in the future. I don't really think you have to have any particular background to come from. I think that's the beauty of working on a platform like this and on going into consulting. I think if you're open-minded, I think if you are a good learner and you spend the time and effort um, to understand the platform to when you get on site, to understand the client's business and their problem need, um, that's what's needed. It's really about deep, diving deep, getting experience and understanding what people need and pulling that together and then executing. I think not having a technical background can actually often be quite an advantage for a functional consultant. So someone that can understand a business problem really well and then has spent the time to really learn about the platform, become certified and understand the value of the platform will really be good at stitching together how that platform can solve those business problems.